This is question number 20, and we are told an aircraft took off from point A, which is x degrees to the north, 15 degrees to the east, at 0720 hours, Rocco time. It flew due to due west to another point B, which is x degrees north, 75 degrees to the west, a distance of 5,005 kilometers uh, from A. After a stopover of one and a half, one hour 30 minutes at point B, the aircraft took off and flew for three hours 40 minutes due south to a point C. The aircraft maintained an average speed of 910 kilometers per hour for the journey from A to B and also from B to C. Take pi to be 22 over 7 and radius of the earth to be 6,370 kilometers. So we have uh, part A, calculate the position of point B. Uh, you get 3 marks. Position of point C, you get 3 marks. Uh, B, determine the local time at point C when the aircraft arrived. Uh, so we can do this. Uh, this is from the topic navigation. Uh, so we need to find X first of all. Uh, finding X will give us a position of B. And uh, how do we find that? We can make a sketch here that is going to guide us on how to go about this. So this is a group, uh, just a sketch. So we are told it is uh, A and B are on the same latitude. Uh, the latitude is uh, is uh, 15. So we can say this is the center of the circle. We can okay. Uh, let's just use this. We can say this is uh, these are the two points. So this is A. It is uh, this is uh, X and uh, 15 degrees to the east. Uh, and we have uh, this is our B our B is at uh, X degrees uh, these are degrees and uh, 75 degrees this is to the north and this is to the to the this is to the west uh, that is to the west <laughs> now we need uh, since we are told to, to, to find the position of B we are told that uh, this distance from A to B, it is uh, 5,005 kilometers. And therefore, how do we find uh, the distance? Uh, we get uh, the angle, since the, this is uh, A is to the east, B is to the west. So to get the angle here between A and B, uh, we will say it is 15. We are going to add and 75. Uh, these are degrees so we get zero that is 90 so the angle between a and b is 90 and how do we get calculate the the distance we say it is the angle which is 90 divided by 360 you multiply by 2 pi uh, this case instead of putting that you multiply by 2 pi which is 222 over 7 you multiply by now here we have the equator here so this is the radius and how do we express the radius uh, normally how we do it uh, we draw a line here this is the axis so we say this angle here it is 15 degrees so that this angle is 15 it is the same angle as that so we can express our r as uh, so our r using this angle now we can say r is equals to r cos uh, cos 15 uh, r cos 15 uh, no not 15 but uh, cos x uh, cos x because this angle here is x not 15 so we say this is uh, uh, r we, we know it is 6370 uh, the cosine of x the angle that's how we get the the, the the distance from a to b that should be equals to the distance which you have been given is 5005 kilometers <coughs> so you can compute this and uh, 
first of all we can write uh, we can say cos x is equals to so we take everything so it is a uh, 5 uh, 0 0 5 you multiply by 360 <coughs> that is this and you multiply by 7 you divide by the, the values that in the denominator so that is 90 multiply by 2 multiply by 22 multiply by 63 uh, 70 uh, you can do it simplified the way you find it convenient uh, so using your calculator this will give, give you 0 0.5 so if cos x is 0 0.5 it means x you get the cos inverse uh, which should give you x is equals to 60 degrees so it means that the, rati the, the latitude here here it is where we have x this angle here is 60 uh, and there you get uh, 3 marks of course you get 3 marks for equating that simplification we go to Roman number 2 we are told to find the position of uh, position of uh, C now from C we are told that uh, uh, it, the, fr to move from C it took 3 hours 40 minutes uh, to move to C so we can assume that our C is somewhere here so this is where we have our C so we can we have we have we have time time is equals to uh, 3 hours uh, 40 minutes you can say 40 divided by 60 that will give you 3 and 2 over 3 so that is time we have speed is equals to uh, the speed we are told it maintain the same speed so it is not these are hours uh, this is uh, now the 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 speed is 910 kilometers per hour so if you are given the speed and uh, time you can find distance so you can say uh, you say distance is equals to uh, speed times time which is equals to now this will give you 910 you multiply by 3 and 2 over 3 that is time and uh, when you compute that uh, then you find this is equals to uh, that will give you 3,336 and uh, 2 over 3 you compute, you use your calculator now we know the distance from uh, from B to C and what we need to find is uh, the position of C so we can say and uh, now to get the position of C we say theta divide, that is the angle between now we can uh, we can draw this angle this angle is the one that we can uh, we can uh, we can we can use to get so if we know that angle we'll be able to get the position of c that is the angle between uh, b and c so theta over 360 you multiply by uh, 2 multiply by 22 over 22 over 7 you multiply by now we are going to use the radius which is 6370 because uh, this is a longitude and ro when you are calculating the distance between two points on the same lat on the on the same latitude uh, the, we have the this is a great circle all latitudes are great circle so you multiply by 63 3, uh, 70 that is uh, the radius uh, so you can now okay let's uh, let's uh, separate this we can now since now we what is only missing this is uh, is equals to uh, 3336 and 2 over 3 which is the distance we have calculated here now we can be able to get theta is equals to now we say it is 3336 and 2 over 3 uh, you multiply by the, the denominators here so it is 360 multiply by 7 you divide by uh, you divide by 2 times 22 multiply by 6370 uh, when you compute that uh, when you compute that then you should be able to get uh, theta is equals to 30 
degrees now uh, <coughs> because zeta is uh, 30 degrees and we are told to find remember now our b was in at latitude uh, 15 degrees uh, we, we found it is 60 degrees to the north uh, that is the value of x so from that we are going to the south we are told uh, tc is in the south so 60 it means that uh, the angle that will be if that angle so the, this angle here the, the angle of c from 60 uh, we subtract the 30 that will give us 30 so the position of uh, the position of c would be it is 30 degrees to the to the north we are still in the northern home hemisphere and it is a uh, now it is the same lat uh, longitude 75 degrees to the west so that is the position of c uh, i hope you have followed that now we come to part b of this question and we determine the local time at point c when the aircraft arrived now we need to find the time that uh, was spent so uh, from uh, a to b remember the starting the time at the time at b was 0, 07 20 hours now because uh, now b is to the west of uh, to the west of uh, a and for every for uh, for every degree it takes uh, 4 minutes to the, the to calcu to calculate time that is the time difference so the angle between is 90 so we say it is 90 we multiply by 4 for, for every degree and uh, 4 minutes and we divide by 60 to convert 6 that to 2 hours so this will give us 6 hours uh, and because we are moving to towards the west, we subtract. So the local time, uh, so we say local time at B. When uh, when the when the plane started the journey, it should be zero seven twenty. We subtract uh, six hours. Uh, so six hours that will give us zero two. Uh, when you subtract, uh, this will give us one and uh, this will give us zero so the time at the sea when the plane started the journey was uh, was uh, zero and twenty hours now we are told that uh, uh, now how do we get we, we need to get the time it took the plane from a to b we have the distance and we have the speed so we can say uh from uh, c from that is from a to b the distance is 500 uh 5005 uh, kilometers the speed was 910 when you compute that you, you use your calculator you get 5.5 .5 or 5 hours 30 minutes uh, let's just write 5.5 uh, .5 for convenience hours so we can be able to calculate time and uh, that time it means that uh, we can be able now uh, the time at c so it we are saying time at c is uh, 120 hours uh, then what we do is uh, we, we add the time the plane took to to move from a to b so we have seen it is five hours that uh, that a minute so far or 5.5 so this is five uh, this is six and zero uh, then from there uh, so it arrived at C at uh, six and six fifty hours uh, there was a stopover of one hour 30 minutes so we have uh, 30 minutes one hour 30 minutes uh, so we have zero this is eight so we say it is two carry one this is a uh, seven eight uh then from uh this is hour then from uh b after the stopover which is uh, eight zero eight uh twenty it took three hours 40 minutes so we had three hours 40 minutes 
and this means that zero uh, this is uh, 60 we carry one this is uh, 9 12 carry 1 12 so it means it uh, the local time at sea when the air, when the aircraft arrived uh, was 12 hours and that is how you work out that question and uh, you'll be able to get uh, four marks there so this question this topic you you covered in uh, form four we call it navigation or longitude and latitude uh, so the most important thing is to, to 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 understand or to know how to get distance between two places on the uh, surface of the earth how to get time and it will be okay for you to answer this kind of questions